Welcome to the Paul Canabean Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joining Paul Canabean, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. Coach, you guys had a, lot, a while off, but let's talk about that Tufts game from last Tuesday. Yep. It seemed like uh, every time you guys started to make a run back at it, you know, they shut you down. Ultimately, you fall 16-13. Yeah. What do you guys need to do to keep uh, – you know, <coughs> well, I, thought, you know, I thought overall it was a really good game. You know, two teams getting after it, feature like 106 shots, something like that, and two teams going up and down. And, uh, you know, we just missed our opportunities. We had a lot of shots I thought they were quality we could have um, – made we overthrew some passes to some open guys that could have led to some goals um, I thought we did a re- this sort of decision making in the middle of the field between their straining lines was a little off at times it killed us in some of the clears where we had open guys and we threw the pass low or high or didn't quite make the or didn't see the open guy and kind of made a poor choice so that's kind of where that game was won or lost a little bit I thought they did a real good job between the lines but two good teams really getting after each other so uh, we're there we're close you know we just got to start making more of the plays to help us win than more of the plays that don't help us win so but we're I think we're really close to where we are one impact player for you is JT Thielen. Is he he had five goals. Is he yep. starting to get back into the groove after? Well, I think JT is finally starting to get in shape after missing last year. It was a long haul for him to get back into shape where he is now. So he's moving so much better. He's running so much better, and that really helps to shoot the ball when you're in shape, especially through a course of a game. And so he's playing better, and he's doing what he needs to do. We have a lot of good players that are getting uh, people open, and JT seems to be on the end of the so-called dra- gravy train a little bit for that. And but he needs to continue to finishing the ball like he's doing. He's put a lot of work into his shot so far this year. I mean, you touched on it earlier about the defensive effort, you guys again played well in stretches what do you need to do to keep playing that 60 minute game well overall you know I think they just got us a little bit two little runs they got us in the start of the first and the, in the start of the third but I thought we played pretty good defense for the most part it's between those line decisions a couple times off the face off we made a real poor sub and gave them some opportunities it's tough to say we played good defense when we gave up 16 goals but I thought it was a solid effort and and that we probably gave up eight goals in broken situations that uh normally I think we would cover pretty good but we didn't do it in this case and that's how they scored goals but they sh- they're a very talented team that shoots the ball well and we'll learn from it you know moving on to Lebanon Valley and Arcadia yeah, I wanted to talk about the, you know, flipping over into the conference schedule. How important is it going to be to get going on the right foot and get a W against Lebanon Valley? Well, hopefully we just continue to play the way we are a lot and is improve on it and not lower our level of our play. We played really good teams. We played six ranked teams in a row, and, you know, we're really uh, excited to keep going here. And hopefully we, we need to maintain our level, come out with a lot of excitement, not turn the ball over as much, and really put uh, put our will to some of these teams, hopefully early on, then make it a little bit easier on us. But, you know, Lebanon Valley, 6-1, and one, having a great year. And then Arcadia, you know, we'll go into them. They're doing much playing much better so two challenging games well coach we wish you the best of luck this week and hopefully coming out with a 2-0 and record oh yeah that's, that's the plan thank you he's paul canabine i'm joe wamba and this has been the paul canabine show